and we're here. I hope you can hear me. This is DTM and I am going to get started. Please excuse the background noise. And uh, I've been an artist and illustrator. I've been a artist, a person who draws for a long time, a lot of years. And uh, I've been a designer for um, since uh, I think the late 90s when I needed to create some flyers, some basic uh, designs for um, schools, friends. I know a lot of people in the music industry and they needed some design work. And so I kind of jumped in and just started to work with design. As time went on, I picked up Illustrator and Photoshop and I got more into the overall design and drawing and illustration. And, uh, and so today I move around all those worlds and I consider myself a creative genius. I teach Illustrator and Photoshop here in Atlanta. I have a uh, online art classes. They're Adobe Illustrator and Vector classes and you can find us at VectorMaestros.com and uh, where I go over Adobe Illustrator and everything that you see here on this window in 16 easy lessons. So that's always something that um, the, having the fundamentals, having the basics of the program are very important. I teach live here in Atlanta at General Assembly, Sand Flex, and various places around town. And the class that I'm going to go over today or the information that I'm going to share has to do with how to create an infographic. And I did an actual class on uh, early this month at General Assembly as part of the Adobe User Group. So let's, uh, there we go. I want to double check everything is working okay so so we're live all right let's get jumped in, jump right into it follow vector maestros on all the social medias internets and so on and uh, please post some questions I'm gonna try to uh, keep track of what's going on on Facebook so that I may answer your question here on the video or I'll go ahead and answer the questions later by typing them in into the uh, comment section all right so let's go ahead and get started right now it says infographic goes here and I'm gonna give a quick background on this uh, workspace because I I was um, a few days ago I tried to talk about I talked about uh, the windows and palettes what do you call the palettes right here on the right side and I was having technical difficulties and so um, I didn't get to do the video the way I wanted so I'm gonna go over it a little bit so number one, this is your workspace. This is what's on the left hand side. You have your tools on the top. I see you, Bernard. Word up. Thank you, sir, for all the love. That's a great guy to follow right there. And that's whom I learn from a lot. So you should check him out. On the left hand side, we have the tools. On the top, we have two properties. And at the very top, we have menu. So this is the menu on the top. On the right side, I just open my windows. So I keep them mostly closed like this and uh, when I need something I click on the actual window I know what all these symbols mean I've used uh, Illustrator for quite some time now so I, I know my way around it and once I use the window that I need and I click away from it it goes away automatically I, I set my settings that way because uh, I need as much space as possible here on the screen so one way for you to do that with your windows is to right click the very top bar on the right side of the windows and click on the make sure the check mark is on where it says auto collapse iconic panels and what that will do is that once you're done using that particular panel or window uh, then it'll uh, it'll click out when you click away from it it'll close by itself I'm also going to go down the list of my favorite windows and, uh, and set up my workspace because uh, this is uh, I am on the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 right now and I draw on it most of the time so I use that touch um, option here for the workspace 
I don't necessarily use uh, any of the other ones because I draw mostly here on the surface. So these windows, I never really pay attention to them. And when I'm untouched, there's hardly any windows to work with. So uh, if you have, if you're one of those um, designers or artists who has uh, Surface Pro, any version of it, uh, Adobe has the support for you to be able to draw on it. So let's back to essentials. I have all these windows all over the place. I'm going to start separating them because I'm going to grab the windows that I like. As you can see, the window that says color themes, it has a list of uh, color palettes that I've grabbed and added to my color app with Adobe. And anytime you save a color to your Adobe account, you'll always have access to them in any of your software as long as you are connected to the same account and you're on the Creative Cloud. If any of these windows do not appear on your screen when you look for them, no worries because you can always go to the word window up on the top bar menu and, uh, and find the window that you're looking for. And once you click on it, that window will appear. All right, so right now I'm going to clean up all these windows and let's get rid of the ones that I don't use as much. And uh, so I'm just going to go pretty fast because I want you to get familiar with these windows. They are very useful. They're very necessary. And there are some things that matter more than others, depending on the work that you do. It's, uh, a, this software has been around a long time. And uh, it, it got to the point where there's a lot of information, a lot of menus, a lot of options and some of us as time goes on the more you use the software the more familiar you get with certain parts and comfortable with certain menus and then those are your go-to uh, windows and settings anytime you work so right now we're cleaning up cleaning up the paragraph it usually goes with the character I, uh, creative cloud has given us a lot of options that um, some of us who come from way back when with Illustrator have learned to live without. So a line is one of my windows. So the number one window that I use all the time is layers. Layers is important. Anything you have right here on this canvas, on this artboard, in front of you on Illustrator will show up on this layers window. Anytime, anything that's here. And uh, so sometimes the window will get so crowded with, the, the artboard will get so crowded with artwork that you have to keep track of what's going on and see and, and, and use the layers window so that you can select something that's, go, that's in the middle of all this craziness. And uh, so keeping track of your layers, keeping uh, naming them, organizing them is very necessary. And so this is the number one window that I use all the time. Transparency is very important. I use it a lot um, because it gives me the options to put on one of these um, uh, transparency options, even also the opacity. And I can do that to select items like in this case. Let's move this around. This, oh, that was the paragraph that's separated from character. Goodbye. There we go. Uh, and what I want us to do to see is that where it says graphic infographic goes here What I did was with that word infographic is right here on this layer one and you can see part of the word info Right there. I select it and you'll notice that my opacity is at 33% So what I did is I used the black color. Here's the color window and I drop my text in I have the black color on that text and I turn down the opacity so that it has a more um, cooler uh, color value. And, uh, and that is done through transparency. And another way of changing the color value is actually changing the color here. So you can do that also. Uh, but I, sometimes I like just sticking to a basic color and then turning down the opacity to get what I want. So I like this um, transparency also. Since we talked about color, let's put color next to transparency and that's it next, not on top of each other. Perfect. Gradient is another great um, 
window to use. It has a lot of great options. And we're gonna cover some of these today. Appearance, uh, whenever there's something going on with uh, an actual item here on the layers, you'll notice that the appearance window will show you what's going on here and you'll be able to edit those parts from this appearance window. The stroke, I like to keep it with the color and uh, stroke is really, really cool. It uh, gives you the options to add a outline to like this word infographic. So let's uh, put a color on there, infographic, there you go. See, it has a stroke color. And then we go to stroke and let's change that stroke color. And uh, and now it's, it's like, of course, it's, it's not what we want, but you get the point of what this stroke window does. So character and paragraph, they live together. I will stick them right here. Uh, Pathfinder, awesome, awesome, awesome window. I love that window. It's, it's amazing, some of these windows, what they can do. Align, and let's stick a line right here. And now that I have some of these the way I want, and then I'll have to stack in this order. You can stack them in any order you want. I drag it over to the right until it turns blue and then I let it go and now they snap onto the edge. And of course I close them like this. You can also click on the edge and drag it so you can see the word. And uh, if you're new to Illustrator and you're learning your way around the workspace and the options, then that is a great way to keep track of those windows here on the right side. Thank you, thank you for Bernard Fields for the comment and Alyssa Lewis I'm always helping the artist community that's right we we, we both do Alyssa is a hardcore helping the artist community animators and comic book artists and anyone who is an artist who wants to make art their career and she's always on hand to show the way and again Bernard is fields follow him he is always online giving advice tips and tricks he's a multimedia specialist he's hardcore all right so uh, those are my windows, they're on the right side. I'm gonna grab my layers and I'm gonna stick this back here in the bottom. And you notice that they kind of bundled up. When I put each of these windows together, they bundled, bundled up in a particular way. And it doesn't have to be that way, I just the way I did it. In color themes, I don't usually keep those out, but I'm going to this time because I'm gonna use it for the infographic. So I shared a couple of links on Vector Maestros and on this video and one of those links I'm going to fix because it did not show all the way through. So PictoShart, PictoShart.com has a couple of layouts and uh, tips on how to do a layout for an infographic. Hey, sorry about that noise. And uh, and so with that in mind, uh, check that link when at your leisure. Look at the uh, some of the info that's there and let me see if I can pull it over here for you. I When I talk about infographics, I like to I like to talk about how it must tell a story. So this is the link and uh, the people at Picture Chart have been very gracious in setting up this page with information and giving you some visual design tips and tricks and how to best lay out information. An infographic is uh, information that is in a graphical format. Back in the day, we called that hieroglyphics. All right, so here's an infographic layout sh sheet, 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 sorry for the accent. And, uh, and it gives you some things to consider when it comes to a layout, when it comes to flow, a story flow, and, uh, and keeping people engaged. So here are some things that keep in mind, the useful bait, yes, um, the type of data, but focus on design, uh, but focus on the data rather than the design, but it has to work together versus comparison. That's a, always a, a good option to use when you have either or. Heavy data, lots of, lots of statistics, lots of things to keep people engaged. A roadmap so that people can find their way through, kind of like a comic book, you wanna know which panel comes first. Uh, timeline and then um, the information that that builds on all the visuals. So that's something to keep in mind. I am going to work on the idea that I shared at the Adobe User Group at General Assembly earlier this month. And um, I may or may not follow these rules. The point is that there's information online. 
you can find it and uh, through the link that I shared at Vector Maestros and then um, you'll be able to go ahead and, and further your skills so that you can make some great infographics yourself all right let's see something is going crazy over here the internet's come on and then there we go all right so let's see where do we what what one of the things that we talked about in the class was that my our infographic was going to talk about the people who come to adobe user group and so let me refer to my notes and i can see exactly my layout so the Adobe user group is uh, made up of people who like Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and Premiere, and all these other softwares that Adobe has available. They're part of the Creative Cloud nowadays. So what I did was to start it off that I knew that I wanted a layout that was that had a flow that went down. So something like this, right? And as a matter of fact, before I even copy my next. Uh, this box let me size it to where I want it to be so we're gonna have so in in the infographic we're gonna talk about Adobe user group how they get to the group where they come from and a versus subscription versus the, the utilization so what that means is that transportation the meter group members they care about the environment and some of them take the bus take public transportation MARTA and etc some of them may ride a bike and some of them may drive and so we're going to visualize that information also location is going to be another section and that's going to deal with the average time travel to the meetup and uh and then lastly how many adobe users have the creative suite versus the creative cloud and out of those groups two different groups of people uh, well, how many how many different um, softwares do they use in their part of their work? So, because I want an, a, a section for each one of those things, and I want the basic information on the top, I want to split this infographic into those three and a half spaces. So here we go. I made up a box with uh, my shapes. Here on the left I like to always sometimes get not always but sometimes get the tools out so I can see clearly what I need and then now that I have my rectangle I hold on Windows you hold the alt button and click down onto the shape and then drag it and that'll give you a copy of that first shape so the second shape and this is where the color themes come into play I grab these colors from the logo of the Adobe uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud logo so that's where these colors come from so let me go with the second color so this has my color oh so it went to the wrong thing so let's click on that and go let's do it again there we go right there perfect and you don't see a full color because my transparency is set to low so let's go to transparency opacity and turn it on there we go this is the same with the other one the other rectangle and transparency opacity up oh, there it goes of course we don't want that color we want this color right here bam there we go just like that and this one ended up with a stroke so let's turn that stroke off and I can go to color and then make sure I select that stroke box and say none and there it goes so there we go we got two colors so let's get one more color and let's take a look at this theme so we can go with that one for the next color so go ahead and I'll hold down the alt button click on to the shape that and drag it down go back to your color themes and select the third color and it looks like oh and I had the um, stroke on, so I need to have the fill color on. I'm like, hey, why is it not working? There we go. 
you gotta pay attention to those little things. Those that's that's gonna happen. And then finally, I need a color for the background here. So let me grab another um, shape. Make sure my fill color is on. Let's get my color theme and let's go with that. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Now, one thing to keep in mind that every time you create a shape, uh, again, you gotta pay attention to your layers to start adding up, right? And every shape the further up front it is the further higher it is on the layers the further back it is the further lower it is so here's that layer there and then this layer is the second one up and as you can see it's below this layer which is under this layer here so I'm gonna grab that shape and drag it down I will use the words layers shapes objects interchangeably so please uh, bear with me if I uh, if you have some suggestions on how I can do things a different way let me know and uh, we'll make that happen all right so I'm gonna grab this and stick it up here and then grab the edge and drag it all the way down there we go perfect there's my infographic page awesome that's my footer down here that's my header up here and my three sections so I will may have to adjust them later as uh, time goes on and the information goes in we'll see we'll see and now that I'm looking at my other there we go yeah, let's go with these colors okay so let's see so now infographic goes here it's gonna say Adobe let's call it uh vector maestros in honor of our work right so vector if i can get the caps on there we go maestros give it a title and make sure we get rid of that stroke goodbye get the fill color white our layers there it is and what i'm going to do is create a second layer the first layer is going to be called background colors just backgrounds And then our second layer is going to be header. There we go. And we're going to put that up there. Just drag and drop. There we go. Backgrounds, we lock it so nothing can happen to our backgrounds. All right. And let's go ahead and save. File save or control S. And let's call it VM infographic. There you go. And let's put it here. DTM art. All right, save it, and uh, you save it as an Illustrator file every time. You always save as an Illustrator file when you're working. Okay, done. So that means that right now we're saved up to this point. I Control Plus to zoom in, hold down the space bar, and click on the screen so I can move about the artboard. Let's see how much time we have left here. Uh, peak minutes view 28 okay so uh, can't tell how long we've been going at it let's see but we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it short to an hour let's see all right all right so uh, I think my limit will be 930 max all right so here we go back to maestros back to maestros is um, gonna grab our text and say is a group of People. a group of people group of Adobe Illustrator uh, Adobe a group of Adobe users learning their way with design and illustration so let's see I just typed up a bunch of stuff let's change our font and there it is. That's too small. Let's change our, our font size. Let's change our actual font. And we're on Windows, so we're going to go with Arial. We're going to change the color. And a group of user users learning, learning, leaning, learning their way with this, learning their way through design and illustration with, the, with, with. Adobe 
software. How about that? We're just making things up right now for the purpose of this um, infographic. So there we go. Bam. Very big, very bold. And uh, we're going to keep some of this fonts right here. We're not going to worry about it too much. As a matter of fact, yeah, let's, 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 let's leave it. Make it fun. All right, cool. So we have uh, the, the main title, a little description, and let's move into the other areas. So again, the alt button, bam, there we go. Make a copy, double click, get in here, and our first subject is transportation. And uh, transportation, there it is. And let's go ahead and make that a little bit smaller and uh, set it right here to the right. There we go. And we're going to turn the opacity on that a little bit because what I want is for it to have its own little identity and not be as bold as the rest. So 75 is good. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, even that is a little bit too strong. So I have those two selected. Here we go. And let's grab that one there. So they're next to each other. And let's go to 90. 85 it's trying to tell me it's telling me what to do don't tell me what to do illustrator all right let's go with that cool so next transportation so a vector maestro members care about the environment so let's type that out and right now i'm just kind of making up stuff that's going to go here um uh, let's see care about the environment Trying to care about the environment. Environment. There we go. Let's get rid of that period. And size this little window down. Bam. There we go. To the left. To the left. Can we go to the left, please? And there it is. Awesome. So now we have three modes of transportation. So let's close this layer because I'm going to start doing some drawing and I'm going to use some basic shapes to get that. So let's make sure we save, okay. Control S and let's make, uh, using some shapes, let's make a bicycle. Here we go, one circle. Get that and make a copy. Bam. Let's uh, select those two. And we're going to fill to the line, the stroke, and no fill, and make the stroke four. Perfect. Let's get some lines. It is very important that any Adobe Illustrator user uses the pen tool. The pen tool is your friend. It is going to be all right. So here we go, like this. And uh, I forget how it was. But you know what? Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, there. Huh. Let's try that again. I, I ride bicycles. Not lately. Here we go. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Done, son. Let's put uh, this receipt right here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Very simple, right? Hmm. There we go like that. And let's change that color. And fill so let's make that fill and the stroke gone and we're gonna zoom in I encourage people to zoom in so you can see what you're doing and what's going on there we go and there we go nice nice we have a seat now we need a handlebar and and you know what I can see a couple of things that this needs Fixing, here we go, put that where it goes, and then let's get the handlebar. And the handlebar will go here and here and there. There it is. Perfect. Now we need a circle here. And I'm just making this bicycle with the basic shapes that are here available to all of us. 
and uh, I'm sure I could have gone online found a bicycle shape maybe that's easier but because we're in Illustrator I want to do it in Illustrator so let's get our petals that and make sure our stroke is filled in let's make our stroke too good 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 nice and let's get a rectangle I think this is a very complicated bicycle it could have been uh, much slim simpler and it would have worked but I'm an artist I draw I had to create stuff because I feel like it. All right, there we go. Done. Let's zoom out. That looks like a bicycle. Yeah. All right. I grab all of those. Go to my layers. Go like this and like that. And right uh, and go up to my menu. And we're going to where are you? It's not in here. It's over here. Object and group. Control G done so now I can bring that down like this and um I did something that wasn't there. Let's go here transform scale and it's gonna scale strokes. Okay, now we can do that. There we go. Make the strokes a little bit small so they they ride their bicycle. Let's make a bus. This is bicycles. Uh huh. Bikes. Done. Now we're gonna make some buses because some people rode the bus. And again, to get the rectangle and let's make a bus. Yeah. And let's get that. Let's add some. A point here let's add a point there and let's move this back a little bit and this to the front a little bit and let's give it some wheels because the bus drives you around and let's add it the wheel to the back there we go and let's add some windows there we go. Yeah. Let's grab this over to the right. Like that. And let's grab. So let's grab these three. This is where the Pathfinder window comes into play. Where are you, Pathfinder? Word up. Get the first option. Bam. And now let's get all of these shapes and get the second option. Bam. And there's my bus. And I can grab the corner still of this inside part. There we go. It's too far. Right there. And let's, that, let's go like that. And let's add a shape here. And um, you know what? Let's not that one. Let's go like this. And zoom in. And grab this one a little bit. Let's get this perfect. And now I'm going to go like this. And I'm not going to take my time and make them all. Well, I guess I could. <laughs> I said I was not going to take my time to make them all equal distance from each other, but you know, sometimes. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Here it goes. Align, center, and and distribute. Bam. Done. All right. There goes the bus. Let's get all these layers together. These uh, shapes and back to our Pathfinder. Done. There goes the bus. And you know what? Uh, I just keep thinking of stuff. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see. There we go. That doesn't look too much more than a bus than as a little uh, trolley thing, but okay. Let's call it public transportation. Let it stand for 
buses, trains, and all that stuff, okay? All right, trolleys. That's public transportation. There's our bus. And this layer's called bus. Buses, because there's gonna be a lot of buses here. And right now, it's all one compound shape. Very good. Very good. Let's grab it and size it down. It needs to be a little bit bigger than the bicycle. And go with that. Perfect. Yeah, yes. Control S. Worst thing that could happen is that your computer shuts down. The cat walks across the keyboard and then uh, you lose your work. That happens with my cat. All right, buses, lock that, get the next layer, and it's going to be cars. So now, some cars, right? So let's make a car. Let's do a long one like this, a short one like that. Let's get some wheels like this. Let's make a copy of that wheel. Yeah. Make sure they're even. Done. And let's uh, let's make them all one shape. Pathfinder. Done. And let's round out these edges. Oh, that's the wrong one. Go back. As a matter of fact, wait. Just do that. Do this. All right, let's go. Let's grab these two, and there's these little circles that you can hold on to to round out the corners. That is a useful tool. I do like that. I do like that. There we go. Bam, that's a car. And let's undo this one. There we go. Better. Here we go. Let's put a window in there, just the front window. And uh, let's see. There we go, right there, perfect. Now we select those two, go back to our Pathfinder, second option, bam, done. This is a car, because I don't want to take forever doing all these little things. There we go, and let's make the car a little bit smaller than the bus. And this is called Cars. Done and let's make the bike a little tiny. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Because oh, it's not really that small. All right. So now we have our transportation. All right. Let's close those out. Get them out the way. And uh, and so in our survey, the Adobe user group had um, the numbers came up to 13%. We're using public transportation. And uh, five percent were on bicycles. So let's do that. How do you do that? How do you visualize that? Real easy, real easy. Let's make five bicycles and I'll hold down the shift so I can. Let's see. Here we go. So five percent for their bike. Let's center them and distribute. Perfect. Now let's do the bus. Let's close that. Buses. Get the bus. And um, what did we say? 13% public transportation. So it's going to be 13 buses. There goes one. There goes two. All right. 13. And I uh, got these here. Let's uh, align them, distribute, done, and uh, that's how many buses, five, so let's uh, copy that again, there we go, that's ten, and let's copy that again and make that third, fifteen, but we need thirteen, right, so let's select two of those, gone, that's thirteen buses, thirteen percent. And let's make that a little bit smaller because that's 13 and 5 is 18. That means that if you do the math, 18, that's 70, 18. 
that's 82 people or 82 percent drove a car so we have to make room for all of those cars come on buses and bicycles all right right so 13 plus 5 is 18 out of 100 18 18 that's right 82 so let's go with the cars now lock it lock it open and control s so we can save and let's go ahead and uh, get this car and let me know if you're if we're still online so we're checking the feed here it might be going slow but it looks like we're still online so I'm going to go ahead and finish this trans transportation section and then I'll uh, come back to it another day because uh, they were taxing the internets around here all right so we have a car let's go ahead and make a copy of this car let's go this one oops that wasn't it let's go back perfect there we go and I need a stack of oh, this probably gonna need a stack of 10 so what's that five so let's move these here and let's go like this all right stacks of ten and the center distribute very good make it a little bit smaller yeah yeah yes yes so now we need eight of these all right so let's go Whew. Four. And let's go like that. That's eight. That's a lot of cars. That's a big percentage. All right. Let's see. Let's take it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Hey. There we go. Huh. Ha 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 and then uh 82 so we need those two the last two perfect look at all those cars so let's now let's play around with the design and make them all fit together and in this case we need to move uh, just all of these over a little bit so let's go like this and make them a little bit smaller actually let me I think I can grab these buses and sit it right there and right there and grab this one and set it right there sure and grab all of them and set them right here all right let's grab the bicycles do the same thing bring it in yeah bring it make it size them up let's zoom in so we can see what's going on yeah that's not bad there we go bring it in a little bit zoom it out and now I can put these cars right here there we go Woo! care about the environment so go ahead and let's uh oops, just the wrong layer so that the cars, the buses, and the bikes are done. Let's go ahead and uh, fix our information. As a matter of fact, this one's going to be, it's going to call, we're going to call it transportation. There it is. And I'm going to double check that the internet is on. looks like it's stuck a little bit but uh, hopefully this is still running 
All right, so uh, let's go ahead and we care about the environment. So transportation, uh, vector, vector maestros, care about the environment, 5% um, ride their bike. And then 13% um, use public transportation. And we're going to say that. And 87, uh, 82 percent drive their car automobile. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Let's make that font a little bit smaller. 18 percent is good. As a matter of fact, it's bold. Let's uh, take it to regular. Let's uh, bring it in. Bring it in, and let's actually let's see if we got room to stack this. 5% this, 13% that, 28% uh, their vehicle, let's see, yeah, looking a little bunched, a little bunchy, which reminds me, we need to watch that Donovan episode, the finale, bunchy, so, so uh, layer 6 is our uh, transportation, and what I want to do with that is, um, besides properly spelling it, transportation, is go ahead and uh, grab transportation and the uh, vector maestro's paragraph and bring them into here. Done. So I can, that's the header. That's the transportation. See, when I select that layer, it selects that information. And uh, I can make another layer, and this one's. Uh, trans icons transport icons so now I can grab cars buses and bikes and stick them in there see that and I can turn it on and off it's important to use these layers it's very important once you get the hang of it you want to keep track of your work and now I can move all of them together oh, once I turn it unlock them here we go and let's go with this. Yeah. Yeah, Victor Maestros care about the environment. You know what? Let's uh let's fix the, all of that. So this is good. That's good. Let's fix the background. Zoom out 100 percent Save that. And let's make this red section. Let's move all of it. Let's make them all bigger. So zoom out some. Yep. And grab that. That. And now we can grab our transportation. Select it here and here. And then just move it down with the arrow button. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Transport icons. You need to come down. So now we create some separation, some white space, some blank space. There we go. So uh, Adobe users. So this is really Adobe users. Well, I'm still debating this back to Maestro's title. But in any case, they care about the environment. 5% ride their bike. 13% use public transportation and 82 percent drive their automobile and so uh come on there we go that's that perfect and um transportation that's that and now i can put a, a layer put all of that in the layer so this is transportation um section done so grab these two stick them in there come on there we go lock it it's done 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. It was a took a little doing. It uh, it's a little slow process. It's and that's what is going to be required when you want to make something that looks good, that um has the a good visual to represent the data, and uh, and if you want to build it yourself. In my case, I want to build it myself. I want to create everything myself. I want it to live in Illustrator so that it can scale up or down to whatever you want. So that's what's important. I'm going to check on questions before we jump into the next section. And, uh, and I think we'll just have enough time to do the second part. So let's see what we're looking like over here. I think we're good to go. We're on the Facebook. We're on the Internet. And if anybody has anything else to say, please let me know. Let's see, people like the, people like, everybody likes and reacts to the video. Thank you for sharing everybody. I share this and more at Vector Maestros on the YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Let's see, at the studio, masterclass. And then if you're in Atlanta, you need to come on through to um, General Assembly. My interns and I are working on a couple um, murals there, chalk murals. It's a good location. It's a great place. Ponce City Market has a lot of, to offer in terms of hanging out and uh, good food. But uh, General Assembly is all about education and empowering people who want to make the jump into technology fields so let's see let's go let's go let's do this so I'm gonna unlock my layer for the this one right this is the text nope this is the text that's the text perfect so let's turn it on select it and duplicate done and I'm gonna grab that duplication and move it here and now I can go back and create a new layer. This layer should live outside. And feel free to create layers anytime you need them. Just make them. So what? All right, the next layer is, let me check my notes. It is location. Because uh, thanks to Maurice came through, um, Beasley came through for the General Assembly's uh, W user group. And I was looking for words that rhyme with transportation. So let's see, location. So that's going to change right there. So let's go with, look at that, just got it. No, right here. Come on. All right. Let's zoom in. Location. That's right. So, um, so the location. Where they come inside the perimeter, outside the perimeter, and the average time travel to the meetup. Average time. So that's what it is. Average meetup at general assembly in Posse City market right all right got that and I wanted to copy that actual text that we had now because I I don't want to uh, you can sit there and match the font and all that stuff and I want to I just want to grab it and I say that I know that's for a fact that that's the same font size and um, style and so on all right let's see um, all right so the so what I did was I created a map. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to show what Atlanta looks like. So let's go ahead and get our shapes. And let's make a circle. We're going to pretend that is Atlanta. And go ahead and get us a stroke color and a no fill color. And let's get our stroke color on. Stroke size four. Yeah, four is good. Let's make it more six and we need the uh, pen tool and we're going to do the highways there we go and let's go with that and let's go with this 
Yes. Let's go with that. And that. There we go. All right. Yeah, something like that. You know what? There's another one right here. Huh. Perfect. I think that works. If you're familiar with Atlanta, I think that works. So another trick I like when I make some of these lines, especially for a design like this, I go to my stroke window and I change the settings right here where it says cap, corner, and align stroke. It's because I want the edges to come out and have a little bit of roundness to them. So let's zoom in to see that. So now they don't end in this um, rough looking edge, but uh, it is more, it's more of a, a rounded um, end point. So there it is. Let's get this and see. And another little trick I like is see like right now we, we have white lines and then the vector line is in yellow so in your layers panel you double click your layer uh, where it says layer 10 to the right of it and it gives you this window and I can change the color of my vector lines along with changing the name so this is called map okay there it is so now look now you can see it but that, that still was not a good color choice what if we go with green there we go. Yeah, it's still not better. But the point is that you can change the colors. So there we go. We have the map. And now we need to find our locations. Our locations are they were inside the perimeter, outside the perimeter, and by the perimeter. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and lock this in. Map, make another layer, and let's get us a little star. And uh, so we have, so Ponzi City Market is round about here. And our color, let's get rid of our stroke. And uh, well, that didn't work, but let's go like that. And let's get a fill color. And let's make it uh, like a gold, right? That marks the spot. All right, hey, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was nice. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, there we go, that's it. So let's pretend that's um, Pun City Market. It's close enough, more to the left, I think. All right, and then where people came from. Some people came from up 400, so that's, let's make a different uh, shape so let's make it a square there we go then others are gonna be a different shape let's make it a circle some people came from out this way and another shape is going to be this one and some people came from right here perimeter okay I want all these colors to be the same it's all about the shape so let's go ahead and get us uh, let's go with that I'm on computer all right that's it yeah make sure you say control s all right zoom out nobody came from the south on this on uh, th this date I actually came from the inside so let's go ahead and grab this one because it's outside the perimeter and we need to have it the same shape as the other one outside the perimeter. Hey, 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 take it easy. There we go, they came from over here. So there we go. So percentage wise, this is, uh, forget um, our exact numbers and what happened, but I, Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. It's not percentage this time. This time we're talking about. And let's do something quick, right? So let's uh, I deleted those and let's view rulers. And let's check out the rulers. Control R. Yes, thank you. And let's put a couple of guides. These guides. Hey guides. 
Okay, and not that one. Come on, there we go. Let's get the square. And you're off. You're off, man. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. There's no color on it. Let's fill it in. Thank you, sir. Let's zoom in. So we can control this. Illustrator is all about control. Nothing happens without your permission. You make things happen. All right, and then let's make a let's get our circle. There it is, and let's get our that's the one in the middle. That's right. So here we go. Hey, 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 hey! That one doesn't work the same as the other, so I'm gonna eyeball it. There we go, and put that in here. How about that? Oh, it's pretty close. Yeah, let's fix this square. I didn't like it. So click here and click it there. Perfect, done. And I needed the guy so I can kind of get the same width, even though the square looks really big because um, it's solid up and down. And then I can grab these guys and just take them out like that or delete them. Done. Now let's grab these guys and give them a distribute and let's align them center if they were not right. There we go. So people who were on the square, they they uh, drove, people who live out here on the outside of the perimeter in the square areas, and that square is just way too big, let's take it down. Because so. visually, it's, um, it could be better, but when it comes to the exact technical size, it was the right size, but there we go, much better right there, I think. Okay, so now let's go. Let's get some text in here and uh, let's change. Uh, so where we at? This is the, sh the shapes. These are the locations. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and that's the map. And you know, I never changed this. So this is location, local header. Done. And it's the local header also going to grab the text. And let's um, double click, get in. And the people, so the people who were out the furthest, uh, 60 minutes. Oh, that's not right. Yeah. Good thing there's an undo button. Control Z. There we go. How about now? 60 minutes travel time or oh, just 60 minutes let's go mins uh with the, the light traffic this lowercase m lowercase the m no period done and grab this and bring it in let's grab this one and bring it in right there perfect oh yeah there are rules to design I think these colors are off I need to fix those colors but right now I'm trying to get all my information in and uh, and get it right so let's see um, uh, that's the square the rectangle was more like uh, 40 minutes and then um, or this uh, the shape what do you call that polygon and then this round was 10 minutes the circle and there we go that's it highlight those and of course the align there we go to the left done fix that and I can bring it in bring it down oh that's pretty good yeah I like that zoom out yeah that's pretty good yes 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 so we're getting close to the time that um, I need to stop. Unfortunately, I uh, tried to do a lot in the time. And so, uh, but I think you get the point, right? What we did is use several of the windows to manage the content here, to manage the shapes, to edit the shapes and do all those things.